Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to uh, perform some simple statistics using MySQL. So MySQL provides us with a couple of uh, built-in functions. And we can use this function to compute some statistical summary of our, of our data. So we'll be looking at how to use the mean, the max, and then the average in this tutorial. So let's just jump into it. So I'm going to go into my VS Code. Uh, sorry, uh, my uh, MySQL Workbench. So I'm just used to saying VS Code all the time. We're going to go into my MySQL Workbench and I'm going to go ahead and clear all this, okay? Uh, so what I want to go ahead and do is to select the maximum uh, of all the products. So we have the products table. So let me just go ahead and uh, click right here. So just go on the product table and just click this uh, icon right here. And it's going to turn to you a list of all the columns and the rows in the, the table, right? So you can see we have the, the buying price of uh, all this stuff right here. So let's say that I want to find out the buying price of all the products within my table. So how do I do that? And to do that, I'm just going to go here and use the max. Okay, so sorry, I want to find the maximum of uh, the maximum of uh, of all the buy price, right? So basically, that's what I want to do. I want to find the maximum of uh, the buy price. So like, which product is the most expensive one? Okay, that's what I want to answer. So I'm going to go ahead and simply write the query for that. I'm going to say select, and I'm going to say select. I'm going to go ahead and do. Let me just say star. Uh, select all the columns from the products table. So products table. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and simply execute this code. And this is going to return to me uh, the product table, right? The same thing we have right here. Okay. So just by clicking this button, it's, it's, it's uh, executing this query, which is very similar to this one because we have set up the classical uh, model database. So you have to say classical dot products, right? I explained to you this in the uh, uh, previous videos. So once we have that, I want to select the maximum of uh, the buy price. So what do I do that? I just go here and simply say the max. So let me use the max keyword. So max. And I want to select the max of the buy price. So max of the buy price just like that so price so once i have that done i can simply go ahead and run the code again it's going to return to me the max of all the buy price so it's going to go to the, the, the buy call the buy price column and look for the maximum value and that's what the max function does and let's say i want to select the mean so i'm going to say mean uh mean just like this and it's going to return to me the mean of all the uh, of all the buy prices so it's a mean and that previously was a max okay you can also find the average on average how much is a product so you can say a uh, average you can say avg which is going to be each means basically average and if you run this code it's going to return to you the average of all the buy the products from the buy price so that's basically how you can select them the the mean the max and the average so this is just some simple uh, inbuilt function to perform statistical statistical uh, to get some statistical analysis or to perform some basically yeah statistical analysis with your data so that's basically how you can use this to perform analysis on your data so uh, let's go back into the slide and let's see okay so i have the 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 some assignments for you again as i said the best way to learn something is to practice right you practice you learn you practice you learn you practice and that's how you become better so in this assignment i wanted to print the most uh the most the most amount uh for a paid product paid to the business basically the buy price so if instead of the buy price column i want to print for print for me the most amount paid to the business okay i also want to print for me the least amount uh, amount made in payment to the business so if you look in, in closely into our table you can find the solution to those. so if you go ahead and look closely into our table uh, you can if you're going to look at payments table right you can get that information from the payments table so let's go to the payments table and you can find that information in the payments table i want to find for me the amount the most that was paid the business the least that was paid to the business and on average how much is the payment to the business right so i want, to, I want you to return to me those three values again the solution to those uh it can be found in the link to the description so let's click the link in the description to show you to uh take you to an sql file sorry uh, an sql light file sql yeah basically an sql file that has a solution to this assignment okay so you can find that link is going to be in the description of the video so thank you guys for watching again if you enjoyed this tutorial so far make sure you like the video you share it with your, uh, your friends and always learning sql and also subscribe uh, subscribe to the youtube channel that's another basic to support me again if you want to donate anything the link is going to be in the description you can donate to, you can buy me a coffee or donate anything so thanks for watching and see you in the next one